The Lanugo coat that the young seal pups have must not become wet as it does not repel water or dry easily and so young pups do not enter the water and as the ice is not suitable to dig a lair or den, the pups must stay close to their protective mothers. Watch on to find out more. Salam, khubit means greetings. How are you in Persian? Wide-hearted viewers, I am Kasra, the vegan Caspian seal. Welcome to the legendary shores of my lovely and unique home, the Caspian Sea. We Caspian seals wish for you to feel peace inside, finding heaven within. Let me give you some background information about my species namesake. Many, many, many years ago, 34 million to be exact, a great body of water known as the Paratethys Sea lay across what is now Central Europe and extended all the way to Central Asia. The Paratethys Sea was a vast inland sea whose shores kissed the Alps to the north while her skirt trail down to the Aral Sea. About 5 million years ago, the Paratethys Sea began to grow ever shallower until, at present, only the Aral Sea, Black Sea, my home the Caspian Sea, and a few other water bodies remain as her only children. My ancestors, as well as the first whales and warlesses, were in existence during this time of the Paratethys Sea's receding. Some scientists say that ever since then, we Caspian seals evolved here as natives, adapting to life in this shrinking ancient waters. Others say we are migrants from the Arctic north, where our cousins, the ringed seals live, traveling here to settle in what is now the Caspian Sea before the continental ice sheets melted. In either case, this wondrous sea is our namesake and home, and hopefully it can remain so if conservation practices and the vegan world prevail. More on that later. Today, the Caspian Sea remains the largest inland body of water in the world connecting Europe to Asia. It is a saltwater sea, but has one-third the salinity of regular seawater. Five nations surround the Caspian Sea. Kazakhstan to the northeast, Turkmenistan to the southeast, Russia to the northwest, and in the west, the Caucasus Mountains of Azerbaijan hug the shore. Lastly, in the south, the weather is warmer as the sea reaches Iran. These differences in temperatures across the Caspian Sea create a great deal of biodiversity. One example of this biodiversity can be seen in the northern estuaries of the Caspian Sea at the mouths of river deltas. In fact, we seals like to stay at these estuaries too. The estuaries mark a major migration route between Europe and Asia. Tens of millions of migratory birds pass over such areas of the Caspian Sea twice a year, including lovely and noble feathered friends such as the mute swans and the ever elegant flamingos. We Caspian seals like the estuaries because the mouths of the rivers provide the chilled waters that we enjoy. We also love the floating blocks of ice as well as the cool watery depths of the southern Caspian Sea. Along the Caspian Sea, you can find us lounging on rocky islands and scenic shorelines. Our love of the cold also helps protect us because with low temperatures, come ice and snow, and as you'll see, these are important to our seals. When late fall arrives, we head up north 
for the birth of our newborn pups on the ice sheets. The northern part of the sea will normally freeze in the winter time. It is the shallow end of the Caspian, averaging 5 to 6 meters in depth. When our pups are born, and before they have developed blubber, that's the chubby fat that keeps us warm, they have a different way to keep warm. They are born with lanugo. Lanugo is a thick coat of long fur, colored white to silver gray, which blends in well with the color of the ice and snow, thus providing camouflage and protection. When born, pups are 64 to 79 centimeters in length and weigh around 5 kilograms. Once the little ones add blubber, the lanugo begins to shed and our deep gray fur can be seen. This all takes around 6 to 8 weeks. The lanugo coat that the young seal pups have must not become wet, as it does not repel water or dry easily. And so young pups do not enter the water, and as the ice is not suitable to dig a lair or den, the pups must stay close to their protective mothers. Let's take a moment to remember the joy of when we were very young. We'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show. I missed you guys. And welcome to our seal family. There's the mom, the dad, and just the one pup. It takes about a month for the pup's molting to be complete. And for the next six months after, the grey coat is what they wear. And then a yellowish color is seen in the coat with a lighter underside. Finally, a year later, the adult greyish yellow to dark grey coat with bright spots is donned, with ladies sporting a lighter colored coat. We are quite fashionable. Once we are fully grown, the gentleman seals are about 1.5 meters in length and the lady seals 1.4 meters. And we weigh about 86 kilograms, with us gents being bigger and plumper. As I mentioned before, we Caspian seals love the cold and like to move around our lovely sea during different seasons to where conditions are coolest, though we never leave the landlocked Caspian Sea. From the months of May to September, when it gets warm in the north, we move to stay in the south, where the deep waters offer cool depths for us to enjoy. The southern Caspian Sea has depths of over 1,000 meters and 66% of the water body's total seawater volume. Our travel to the south is also significant, as the Caspian Sea is 1,200 kilometers from north to south. We Caspian seals enjoy variety in our social interactions. In the summer and winter, we like to congregate in large groups, but the rest of the time we relax and get some alone time, or in the company of our spouses, as we Caspian seals pair for life. Whether with friends or mates, to enjoy those cool depths, we have to be very good divers. The farthest dive ever recorded is 165 meters, but mostly we dive to around 50 meters to stay refreshed, with the average dive lasting about a minute. Do you know we seals can hold our breath longer than most other animals? This is because we have much more blood in our bodies than many other mammals. And that means plenty of oxygen is carried through our system with that blood. We also have a super sense that helps us in the water. Can you guess what that is? It's our whiskers. They are super sensitive and give us a lot of information about our environment from even the slightest vibration in the water. As you can see, 
We are truly unique, found nowhere else in the world. At the start of the 20th century, there were around one and a half million of us living happily in the Caspian Sea. But sadly, due to industrial pollution, being hunted and environmental changes, including global warming, our numbers have steadily dropped by 3 to 4 percent per year. In 2017, there were only 100,000 of us left, a loss of about 90 percent of our kind compared to the 20th century's beginning. We are also currently on the list of endangered species, which worries me greatly. Recently, the Azerbaijan Academy of Sciences did a study that showed the Caspian Sea's level is dropping in excess of 6 centimeters per year. This is due to increased evaporation because of rising temperatures caused by climate change. Luckily, scientists from Iran, Azerbaijan, Russia, Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan, along with specialists from the UK, Sweden, and Estonia have joined to create the Caspian Seal Project, which works mainly with the governments of the nations surrounding the Caspian Sea and interested groups to share research findings and develop conservation policies. One such endeavor, assisted by the UK, is the Darwin Project. The Darwin Project is encouraging the humane treatment of seals. Scientists in the region, partnering with the Darwin Project, adhere to a zero-kill policy, meaning tissue samples for research will be taken from a tranquilized seal instead of killing us. Another example is that the organization has worked with Iranian fishing associations who have agreed if we are accidentally caught in their netting rather than killing us, the Darwin Project team members will come and return us to the sea as soon as possible. Tender-hearted viewers, sometimes people's old habits can also become a sort of net that traps them in negative ways. I hope my love and the love of all Caspian seals will reach you and free you from the bonds of any such habits. For those who have not yet embraced the plant-based lifestyle, may divine assistance help you to untangle yourself from cruelty and adopt the liberating vegan diet, thus freeing us all to swim joyfully together in the vast sea of contentment. Inquisitive viewers, thank you very much for your company for today's program. Coming up next is Parents are the Best Gift on This Planet, Part 4 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May you always feel the warmth of the sun on your back. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.